January is Firefighter Cancer Awareness Month. The state fire marshal is working to get the word out about the increased risks firefighters face. WGN's Gaynor Hall has more. Beyond the dangers of running into burning buildings, firefighters can face another under-recognized threat. Cancer is the number one related cause of death in firefighters. The International Association of Firefighters, the IAFF, says from 2015 through 2020, 75% of those added to the fallen firefighter memorial of honor wall were members who died from occupational cancer. Illinois State Fire Marshal Matt Perez wants that to change. And we're doing our best uh, to provide education, training, and resources to our firefighters in order to protect them from the increased risk of cancer that they face. September 11th brought more attention on the long-term health risks plaguing first responders. While battling fires, crews are exposed to toxic chemicals and recent research found that these contaminants remained on the turnout gear and on the skin of firefighters and could be transferred to fire department vehicles, firehouse living spaces, and most frighteningly transferred back to their homes at the end of shift. Perez says it's important firefighters get their annual physicals and follow-ups, have full personal protective equipment, track exposures to carcinogens, decontaminate immediately at the scene, and launder their gear after every event. And the old image of the firefighter with the soot all over his face and sweat dripping down, we've got to get rid of that, right? That's romantic for the fire service, but... That is also the chemicals that sit and sit that sit on your skin that is ca causing these cancers. So we want to see clean firefighters. In 2020, the state launched a preliminary exposure reduction training project. About half of the fire departments in Illinois, including Chicago, have completed that training and in return received a free decontamination kit for every vehicle they operate. Perez says he wants the state's more than 40,000 firefighters to be aware of the risks and the resources available to help them. Gaynor Hall, WGN News. Additional help is available through the Firefighter Cancer Support Network. We have posted the link at WGNTV.com.